One of the important things that is uh, of vital importance is the study uh, of the dark aspects of the life of those influential, influential intellectuals in formation of these modern events in the uh, new world that we are living in. Those people who were influential, to know them, to study about them, and to see what they did. For example, when it comes to uh, this kind of, what do you call it, a sexual revolution that we had, you have to refer to the name of Alfred Kinsey, this American scientist. He used to study insects. And then all of a sudden, he became interested in sexology. He is known as the founder of sexology in America. He was supported by Rockefellers, and Rockefellers made him famous. There is a movie made about him in 2004. You can watch it. Even in the movie, which is kind of supportive to him, you will see how much wise is in this person. The guy himself is a sick person. You know, without knowing the personalities, you may be fooled that he's a scientist. What is he saying is a scientific idea. But then you study their lives, you see that this person is a sick person. He used to have so much corruption in his personal life. Even in the movie. As I said, it's a supportive, but it is not, those issues are mentioned. But having relation with his male colleagues, colleagues with his wife, colleagues with the wives of the other colleagues, the other colleagues with these people, with the kids, Heather Fields, documenting the experience of Heather Fields and then introducing them as science and making his sick mentality as the foundation of normalization of what we call it today as this sexual freedom and these things. In, in, in his uh, research, he says that, that he, he, did, he did at that time, he published some books in 1950s, then Actually, these books are the basis of the sexual revolution in the West. Uh, he says that by following what I'm saying, American society will see the social sexual paradise. Social sexual paradise will be here. And the things, he mentions things that I cannot mention. Of course, you will forgive me for that. In Islam, we say, La haya afeddin, there is no shame in learning. <clears throat> he says, All orgasms are equal, whether between husband and wife, boy and dog, man and boy, girl and baby, since there is no such thing as abnormality and normality. without any scientific proof for this. So these are the sick mentality which is producing these things. As the aim of orgasm, the more orgasms from any outlet at the earliest age, the healthier the person. At the earlier age, and the courage encourages that, no, father and the kid, why not? Even he encourages one of the doctors working with him in Germany, and he has the experience, the doctor, with his own child, 11-year-old child. Early masturbation is critical for sexual, physical, and emotional health. It can never be excessive or pathological. Sexual taboos and sex statue, status are routinely broken, so they should be eliminated. That 
includes laws against rape and child rape, unless serious force is used and serious harm is proven, and so many other nonsenses I don't want to read. This guy, who was, he himself was a sick, he abused some hundreds of kids. After the World War, Second World War, lots of the kids from Poland, from Germany, this guy and his people, they abused under the guise of science. And the ideas of this sick person became the foundation of sexual revolution. Another person which is very important to, to be known actually and to study about, I said this person was talking about uh, social sexual paradise in America. After practicing what this guy said in America and normalization of all those issues, there is another uh, scholar. Uh, uh, this is very, I don't find any person as important as this person at the modern time. Dr. Brett Kaher. Dr. Brett Kaher is from London. You know, uh, he has worked on 22,000 cases. He's a psychologist. Within more than 20 years, he has worked on more than 22,000 people from America and Britain. And the findings are terrifying. He has a book, Who's Been Sleeping in Your Head? You can find it on the net. Who has been sleeping in your head? He says that according to what he has, he's working on mental sex. And he says that this is what Americans and British society is suffering from. The findings are terrifying. He says that in, he was talking about the paradise and he says, according to my findings, millions of people in this book, he says millions of people in America and in Britain, they do masturbation instead of doing any sexual relation. Because of what has happened in these years, they, they are in a kind of psychological despair. And he says that among those that I interviewed, big majority of them, they have fantasy when they are in bed with their wives. That's why they, they usually turn off the lights. And even he says in some cases, even they tape the mouth of the partner not to hear her voice so better they can uh, do imagination and fantasy. And in Islamic understanding of us, this is very destructive. To have such a fantasy of somebody else, you know, we believe that the state that you have at that moment will affect the child which is being to be formed. Spiritually, it has impact on it. We have a hadith from our prophet talking about his daughter, Lady Fatima to Zahra, salamullah alayha. The prophet says, when he talks about his daughter, he says, He says, Fatima is the fruit of my heart. It means that your heart has fruits, has protection. The production of your heart is your child. If you have a dirty heart, from this dirty heart, the pure child will cannot be formed. And such a great pure lady is the fruit of a such pure mentality, like the Prophet. In Quran Allah, when he talks in two places, when he talks about Mary, Salamullah alayha, Allah says, Allati ahsanat farjaha fannafakhna fihe min ruhina. Mary purified herself, then we blew our soul into her. 
So it's not a chance all of, out of accident that Mary is going to be the mother of Jesus. Allah says because she was the purest heart, that purest heart can ca carry Jesus. That, that pure existence. And when big majority are going to have such nonsense in their imagination, then see what's going to happen with the coming generation. All rotten apples will be there. What goodness is going to be come out of this new generation with that mentality?